Talk To Me is a 2023 psychological horror film written and directed by the iconic YouTube duo Raka Raka, a.k.a. Danny Michael F- Filippo, 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 I think. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but this is also their directorial debut, which really fills me with hope that they started on YouTube given that next to writing and voice acting, I want to look at filmmaking as my next step. This film stars Sophia Wilde, among others. This is another A24 adventure, so let's dive right in. Also, a link to Rack Rack's channel can be found in the, in the description. The premise of Talk To Me revolves around a girl named Mia, played by Sophie Wilde, recovering from the tragic loss of her mother. So, to keep her mind off of it, she attends a house party with her friends Jade, Jade and her brother, friends Jade and Riley, both respect, played, respectively played by Alexandra Jensen and Joe Bird. Oh, I think it's also important to note that Jade and Riley are siblings. Anyway, she attends the house party only to find uh, playing a game called Talk To Me, a game played with a cursed hand where A user attempts to reach out and contact something that can get inside. They can get inside and control them. Take control of them. However, they must make sure not to go over a minute and 30 seconds, or else the spirit will be stuck in the person. At first, they seem like they have things, everything under control, until someone starts speaking in Mia's mother's voice during the game, which is when the real trouble starts. I had mixed feelings going into this. While I was pumped given the reviews saying it's the best A24 horror story since Hereditary, I I still was concerned that it would be a jump scare infested snooze fest with a typical demonic possession plot, but I was wrong. The way the story is told is extremely haunting and it just gives you an unsafe feeling throughout due to how unpredictable these spirits are. They literally do one thing only only for a moment later where they will do something completely different and it just totally throws you off and just left me on edge the entire time it, it it's definitely better it's definitely a better version of science in my opinion i give plot an a it was a lot better than i expected next is acting and i was fairly impressed with it a lot of these people are acting in a feature-length film for the first time but even then, they were so convincing with their performance that it seems seemed like they've been doing it for a while. So I can only imagine how much better they will get down the line. I especially have to give kudos to Sophie Wilde. About 95% of the film is centered on her character, and she was especially good during the more emotional scenes. As I mentioned before, she's recovering from the loss, from the loss of her mother, and her portrayal of someone going through such a thing feels very authentic. I also felt Joe Bird's performance helped to emphasize the horror since while I didn't do a ton of screaming, he still looked genuinely uncomfortable he was, when he was scared and there was one, even one scene where he genuinely seemed like he was getting hurt. I give acting an A+. Finally, directing. Michael and Danny created a fil- surprisingly dark film that took a su- some terrifying churns. I was literally on the edge of my seat the entire time because I did not know what to expect next with this movie. It almost seemed like the director, the directors were playing tricks on me, which ultimately made us help to make a surprisingly horrifying film. While I still feel Hereditary took greater wi- risks, I still feel admire what Rack Raka did here in terms of building up tension and mood. I give directing an A+. I am more than looking forward to what they do with the sequel. Overall, Talk To Me is a very ominous film that will ha- definitely have that same lingering edge other films have, such as The Exorcist or The Witch. It had some surprisingly dar- disturbing gore moments because not only did they look very realistic, but they made a lot of decisions in that area. I never thought I would I would get into an R-rated movie. Like, there was literally uh, someone on camera attempting to pull out their eyeball out and it's they're almost successful they they almost um succeed in doing it and 
the camera never lets up, like, it doesn't cut away, it shows the whole thing going on, the whole entire, like, pulling at, at everything. And the violence would literally go all the way. Like, some of these characters literally get abused by these spirits. I also love how the hand is supposed to represent the shenanigans teens get into, such as drinking, smoking, and vandalism. And the scene with Riley doing it after f playing the game after feeling left out is meant to d demonstrate how peer pressure can lead one to dem to do something dangerous. I give Talk to Me an A+. It was easily one of the best, one of the most sinister films I've seen this year. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and sub for more content.